and let's just whack them in. And we'll come back and see how they go. G'day guys, and welcome back. We're in Mike's kitchen today, and today we're gonna to cook something very easy, simple, delicious, and of course, healthy. And that today we're cooking is a banana cake muffin. Mm -mm -mm. Doesn't that sound delicious? Absolutely. So we're gonna check out the ingredients right down here and show you how healthy and delicious this is gonna be. And then we're gonna put it all together and cook up a storm. All right, let's check out the ingredients. Okay, so first we've got the banana. Main ingredient, gives it the banana flavor, beautiful and taste. We've got an egg, we've got a cup of oats, we've got some beautiful cranberries, that'll give it a nice little flavor as well. We've got some almond flakes, we've got some pumpkin seeds, so everything's healthy. We've got a few little crushed peanuts, so that gives it a little bit of crunch. Of course, we need a little bit of milk, so we're using almond milk today, so that's nice and healthy. And of course, our little muffin trays. How's that? All nice and colorful. So there's the ingredients. That's all we need. Simple, quick, and easy recipe for our cake muffin bananas. All right, let's get cracking and get this going. Okay, so we've got our banana. First off, we just wanna peel the banana. Get that out, look at that. Absolutely delicious. Just break it up easy, simple like that. And then, gotta give that all a little bit of a crush down. All right, so now I've got that looking pretty good. All right, banana done. Let's add the egg. One egg. In we go. And we'll give that a bit of a stir around as well. That's how we form a little bit of the liquid. Folks, with the banana, the banana juice and the egg. So look at that, you just get that, mm, get that texture right, loose and creamy. Crush it down, you have it smooth. Try and get all the lumps of the banana out. Voila. All right, next step. We have our oats. Let's go and add them. All right, and then we give that a bit of a stir as well. You want it all evenly mixed throughout the, uh, the banana muffins. Look at that. All right, so what we do now is we just cover that with a bit of Glade Wrap, of course. Just do that, and then we will let that sit and rest for 20 to 30 minutes and then we'll come back and continue the banana cake. Okay, so 20 minutes is up. Let's take that off. Give that a bit more of a little bit of stir. Look at that, that's all sort of consistency well. Now what we wanna do is add uh, three tablespoons of almond milk. One, two, Okay, so now we just give that a bit more of a stir and we can add, look at that, looks good, mix in well, fantastic, Got some cranberries, let's add a few of those, beautiful, we'll keep some for the top when we stick in the uh, oven trays, give that a bit of a stir, mix that well, look at that, beautiful. Okay, we've got some almond flakes. Let's add a few of those in. Keep some for the top. Again, give that a nice stir through. Mix in well, look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Just imagine when you bite into that when it's ready, all the flavors, all the deliciousness. All right, a little bit of healthy. Let's get, sprinkle some pumpkin seed in there. Let's add a few more for good luck. Give that a bit of a stir. As you can see, folks, this is going to be nice, delicious, 
and healthy banana cake muffin. Look at that. All right, now lastly, we'll just add a few little bits of crushed peanut just to give it a little bit of a crunch. That'll do. A bit of a sprinkle, stir it up well. And then the ingredients are ready to fill. Voila. And now we can put in our muffins. Okay, so we've got our little muffin things there. So we will now just go ahead, fill them up. Look at that. Make sure you get them all beautifully in. Just like that, one. Fill them all up, beautiful. Look at all those goodness, goodness of everything going in there. So that's gonna be good. All that good little, yeah. Um, I can already taste it now. Okay, so we've got that. We just wanna put a couple of these on each. Look at that, just around the top. Break them up, put them on. Give that little bit of extra beautiful flavour on top as you bite into them. Put a couple cranberries. A couple there. Make sure you get them all around. And of course, we'll just put a few more of the almond flakes on. Just like that. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Okay, so we want to... Just tap them in a little bit there. Just get them down a fraction so they don't burn when they're cooking in the oven. Just, uh, just under the surface a little bit. Tap a few down. Doesn't matter if you leave a couple on top. Just make that a bit more round. We all like nice round muffins, don't we? All right, let's just tap them. Get that down a bit. Beautiful. All right, so the oven was preheated to 180 and we're going to cook these for 15 minutes. So let's chuck them in the oven now and see how they go. Okay, so we're set at 180. We're going to put the timer on 15 minutes. Okay, and let's just whack them in. And we'll come back and see how they go. Okay, here we go. Look at that, and they look quite good. Let's just get them out and we'll have a look. Yum, yum. All right, folks, so there they are. One, two, three, four beautiful muffin cakes. Let's just open one up and then we can have a bit of a taste test. Look at that, looks delicious, delicious. All right, now we shall cut that and have a bit of a taste test. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, look at that. Exquisite. Look at that. Delicious, delicious. Okay, folks, so here we are. We're at the taste test section right now. So this is the banana cake muffin, all done. Looks so good, absolutely delicious. All right. Let's give it a little bit of a taste test. Mm. That's good. Tastes great. Mm, the old banana cake with the cranberries, the almond flakes, and all. Delicious. Love it. Who doesn't love a banana cake? Anyway, folks, I just want to say thanks very much for joining me on our cooking expedition today here in Mike's Kitchen. And uh, yeah, if you like it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe, ring that bell so you know when we drop another video for you folks, for you lovely folks out there. And uh, we'll have some fun on whatever we do next. Anyway, until next time, ciao for now. We'll see you in the next vid.